If someone asked me to name my favourite Bombay Sapphire cocktail, it's hard to beat the classic Bombay Sapphire Dry Martini. It's the best way to enjoy all the delicate, aromatic flavours of the ten botanical ingredients used to create this extraordinary spirit. Let's begin by chilling the cocktail glass. And I'm going to do that with ice in the glass and a splash of soda. This ensures the drink stays colder for longer. Next, we take our mixing glass. I'm going to fill it with ice. And now it's ready to be introduced to the vermouth. I can do this by splashing a tablespoon of fine French vermouth into the glass, stirring once and discarding the excess. Now, there's a wonderfully aromatic coating of vermouth on the ice cubes. And it's left a lasting impression. And it's time for our Bombay Sapphire. I'm going to pour a large measure into our mixing glass and stir for around 20 seconds. While stirring, a quick word about James Bond. He was wrong. You should never, ever shake a dry martini. Because shaking the spirit, I find, fills it with air bubbles, shards of ice, and it produces a very, very different cocktail. The dry martini cocktail could have been named after the British martini and Henry Rifle, the New York bartender Martini Arma di Taggia, or the town of Martinez in Northern California. But one thing is certain, it's the ultimate in elegance and sophistication. I think that's ready. At this point, we can discard the water in the ice from our cocktail glass and prepare to serve. Now, when I pour, you'll note it's got a beautiful, silky texture. And now, the classic garnish would be one olive. We could garnish with two and make it a Franklin after the US president. With three and a splash of the olive juice, it would be a dirty martini. With two silver skin onions, we have the Gibson. You can also garnish with a lemon or lime zest twist for freshness. The classic Bombay Sapphire Dry Martini Cocktail.